Now, Jimmy, uh, I just had the pleasure of sitting down and listening to these Tannoy Reveal 402 compact near-field monitors. Uh, you had them set up in your studio, and uh, I'm just extremely impressed with this product and the incredible, incredible top-end response and depth of field you get out of them. It, I mean, would you agree? Yeah, I, I totally agree. And, and I think it's, uh, it's a big jump for Tannoy because as much as I've liked all their PA boxes for a mm. long time, I haven't really been blown away by any of their studio monitors in recent times. Yeah, sure. But these things are phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, I cannot believe the frequency response, the clarity, and just the amazing stereo image you get out of it. Yeah, them. the image and the, the listening area yeah. that you have, the, 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 the sweet spot, even sitting directly in, in front of one box, mm. you can still hear a good image across and you can still mm. hear stuff that's appearing on the other side and you don't feel like it's being dominated by the one that you're sitting right in front of. Yeah, I, for instance, sat fairly fairly left and I still felt like I had a fairly good sense of the centre of the mix. Mm. Now, um, there's some other clever things I like on the back of this. Uh, for instance, there's a little 3.5 millimetre jack. Now, uh, while we all like to turn our nose up at the 3.5 millimetre stereo jack. that we're dealing with. We are. We're using them all the time. And they've got this great thing called Monitor Link where you can, like, say, come out of your laptop, you know, headphone output. You could come in, you go out of another the 3.5 millimeter jack and a little switch on the back where you can tell which one's left and which one's right yeah it's just really useful and you know it's again you say the reality of what we're doing with these things these days yeah and look i think these these really are they're pitched at the the desktop monitoring market and you know, when you want something that's better than computer speakers mm. but you don't necessarily have you know a really fancy dac mm. involved or mm. an interface or anything like that mm. you know this this is a perfect solution yep. um you know that the level you get out of them is is quite solid for the for the amount of driver space and cabinet volume they've mm -hmm. got. I reckon they they do a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. uh, the limiting on them is is the most aggressive thing I've heard that, in my so life. The only negative thing I can say about these is what happens when you push them too far, which is they, they cut out. They <laughs> just stop. They just stop. <laughs> which is yeah, maybe no bad thing. And yeah. so, it, but the thing is, I think uh, what plays against that limiting is that it, it's a very brief stop start. Yeah. So you know, it's like it's really fast attack and really fast release. Yeah. On the <coughs> on the limiting. So look, I mean, it is what it is. As long as you're sort of listing at comfortable levels, mm. then, uh, you know, and they're more than capable of sustaining quite comfortable listening levels. Mm. Uh, and I think that's probably a good thing. You know, mm. I think if it encourages people to monitor at sensible levels, then, yep. you know, good. Yeah. You know, avoid the, the fatigue factor and, and you know, hearing damage. But look, I just can't get over these, hey? Yeah, uh, this is just bucks. They're just stupidly good for the money <laughs> and, and I, I can't think of anything better. No.